Craig. You know what we got? We got some eggs in that car, Craig. Good girl. Well, hello, welcome to the Jersey Shore. We got Crags right here in the back for one of our little Subaru talks. And what is she gonna get at that time of day? So on a Thursday, I'll say mass and a friend of mine makes our parish, we have breakfast sandwiches on Tuesdays and Thursdays. All the different folks that come to daily mass, we have a bunch of senior communities around and they all go into our parish hall and they all have breakfast sandwiches. And my friend John and Annette who love my dog very much. <laughs> They make her some eggs. Craggy, you like eggs? <laughs> Here you go, Craggy. Bless us, Lord, and these thy gifts which you're about to receive from thy bounty through Christ our Lord. Amen. Okay. So she gets her eggs, and then I get a breakfast sandwich, and I start working on the weekend's homily. So on a Thursday, I've come here, and again, uh, all kinds of weather in the winter and in the uh, you know, in the summertime, you have to pay more in the summer <laughs> because, you know, the town needs to make its money. But, uh, so get a pork roll, egg and cheese sandwich. See what John made me today. And I start working on the weekend's homily. And I start like, you know, I listen to the scriptures or, you know, read the scriptures and start praying about it. Look at that. Oh, looks like there's some bacon. Looks like we got some bacon on there today. Who doesn't like bacon? And I'll give a little bit of my sandwich to Craig when she's throwing her eggs. Craig, ready? Catch. Good girl, Cragley. And she loves it. And I love this time with God. And I pray for I pray for my enemies when I'm done preparing for my homily. Some of you guys know that. I pray for my enemies here at Divine Mercy Chaplain. All right, so we're gonna do a little, little something extra because I'm not gonna have a long homily online this week. I know some of you are upset, some of you love long homilies, but there's way too much to talk about in this one gospel coming up. And it's the gospel, you'll hear it on the weekend for those who go to mass or those who watch it online. It's the gospel of uh, the parable of the workers in the field that the landowner, he tells his parable and he's always sending people out. He's sending them out at you know nine in the morning and at noon and at three in the afternoon and at five o'clock and he keeps sending them out and they all get the same page. They all get the same wage. And they're like, that's not right. We worked all day, we should have got more. So let's talk about heaven. Heaven, Father Dave? Yes, heaven. Because we're not going to talk, talk, talk about heaven this weekend. We're going to talk about heaven now. And I've taught this in the past, and as opposed to giving you guys leftovers on Sunday, we're going to do it here in the Subaru. Is that right, Craigs? She says that's okay. So, briefly, got my cup of coffee. And I got something else here. Look, what we got down here. We got three glasses, right? All different sizes. Now, if I take my coffee and I pour it into one glass, and no, I don't normally drink coffee out of a glass. I know some people do. They think, I don't know, people are strange. People are weird. What did I learn today, Father Dave? People are weird. Yes, people are weird. And, uh, I like to drink coffee out of a cup, out of a mug, but glasses makes a better analogy today, especially for their sizes. So if you look back, glass of coffee, is that glass full? Pretty much, right? I don't want to spill my Subaru. Yeah, pretty much full. And do the same thing with the next two. Well, yeah, right? I didn't bring coffee because when you get older, you have to use the restroom a lot if you start drinking a lot of coffee. If you don't know what I mean, you will later. You'll be like, God, that Father Dave was right. He only taught us the truth. That's right. Right? So if you look back at those, that one's full. Right, and we could do the same here. We could fill this one up with coffee, and we could fill the big glass up with coffee. I mean, this is, this is a gigando glass, and we could fill them all with coffee. I would ask you a question: Are all the glasses full? And the answer would be yes. But are they all full equally? Well, you could say, well, they're all equally full, but the amount of coffee, right? So, like, if we take this one, let's say we try to do this. Oh, it's spilling a little bit. It spilled. It's coffee abuse. Sorry, <laughs> this is done live, right? So this glass was full. When we put in that other one, you see, man, it's still all that all that extra room left. That this glass had a bigger capacity for coffee than this one. We could do the same. I don't want to spill it on my, my my vent, right? We could put this one into here, and what will we find? 
Like there'd probably be that much coffee left or that much space for coffee left. And so what's like the difference between all those glasses is each of their capacity for coffee is different. They would all be equally full, but some of them have a greater capacity for coffee than the others. You guys are actually catching any fish here. I don't know. Could be catching rocks. Looks like, whoa, that was dangerous. <laughs> you gotta be careful. <laughs> I, I take your hook out. Throws you out of the rocks. Anyway, those coffee cups, their capacities are different. Well, okay. So they could all be full and their capacity are different. So that's that's what I teach about heaven. In heaven, everybody is full of God. Right? Everybody is full of God, but not everybody's capacity for God is the same. Right? Seven, if it's right when you get to heaven, well, you know, hopefully you're gonna be like the big glass. Right? But some people, right, like some people's capacity is not that great for God. Why? Well, because maybe more of a selfish life. Maybe they didn't keep God's commandments. Maybe they didn't give to others, right? Maybe they didn't forgive. I mean, if you don't forgive, you're not going to get there. But, right, your love for God, Jesus says, if you love me, keep my commandments. And, you know, when you love God and love your neighbor and keep the faith and, like, live a life not for you, but live a life for what God wants, right? Not making you the center of your life and making God the center of your life. And then for those who are married, then, you know, God, your marriage, then your family, like, then your children, not the other way around. Right? When you do that and you give, you know, forgive and reach out of yourself to others, you're expanding, like, you're getting a, becoming a bigger glass. Your capacity for God opens up more and more. State police are coming by. They heard there was coffee abuse. <laughs> because will there be coffee in heaven? Yes, there will be coffee in heaven. We know there's going to be wine in heaven because Jesus says, I won't drink the wine again until I drink it in my father's house. And he made trees. And, you know, the reason hell is hell is because they can't have a cup of coffee. And a day without coffee is a day in hell. <laughs> right? It's a hell of a day. A hell of a morning if you don't have coffee. So there's going to be coffee in heaven. But if you think of the coffee as grace, right, your capacity for grace grows based on you and me living the gospel being stretched by God's teaching, being stretched and becoming more selfless and reaching out to others, right? That's what happens. And so everybody in the parable that Jesus talks about, oh, my tablet keeps falling down, sorry about that. Uh, everybody in the parable gets the same thing, right? And the laborers complain, hey, we worked all day and like, you know, they, they got the same thing as us. Everybody in heaven is equally full of God. Like everybody in heaven is full of God. They're all full of it. They're full of God and grace and happiness. But your capacity can increase when you choose to reach out to others and choose to be a person of faith and have a discipline in your prayer life, right? And say like, oh, I'm going to pray on Sunday and keep Sunday holy. I'm going to wake up and pray in the morning. I'm going to pray at night. And like, I'm going to give, you know, pray fast and give alms, the three essentials of the spiritual life according to Jesus. Pray fast and give alms, right? So when you do that and don't advertise that you're doing that, your capacity for God grows more and more. And then one day in heaven, God's going to fill you up with himself, and is everybody in heaven happy? Yes, right? So the people little glasses, right? And hopefully that's not me. Maybe that will be me, right? But the people who are little glasses, they're going to be happy. They're going to be full of grace. They're going to be like really happy, right? And like, if you think this is like the Blessed Mother and maybe this is like St. Therese and maybe, you know, Father Dave's like a little thimble, but like, they're not going to miss out on anything because of God. The time to determine your capacity for God is, is here. It's this life, right? That's why Jesus right now is like, he doesn't say only worry about the next life. He says, Right, like love God now, forgive now, settle with your opponent on the way to court is what he says. Like as an analogy, like now is the time to expand and increase your capacity for God. If you think of these glasses, actually, you know, you know, when the, the glass blower is blowing and making the glasses, it's too late now for them to expand their capacity. They'll crack. Now is when they have their capacity already done. But when they were being formed is when their capacity could grow. And that's this life. Right? Heaven, you will be full of God. Your capacity for God is what's increasing now. So live the faith, expand your capacity for God, hit the daily grind of your prayer life of fasting and of giving alms. And uh, we have some other messages for you on the weekend. I'll see you then. God bless you. Craig, you got anything for them? She says no. She doesn't like coffee, actually. It would be bad for her. But her capacity for God, she has by just because God made her great. Is that right, Craigley? Amen. <laughs>